Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. It's gonna be a bit of an impromptu video. I didn't originally have this on my list to make, but Natasha Denona has released a new mini palette and once I saw this, I knew that I had to grab it. This one here is the Mini Glam palette. This became available at Sephora and I purchased it the day that it came out because I knew that I would want this palette. So today's video is going to be all about this new palette from Natasha Denona. I'll be sharing swatches, my first thoughts on them. I will also show this eye look. And then I am going to compare this palette to the Natasha Denona Mini Nude palette. And also a lot of you requested to see this in comparison with the ColourPop Going Coconuts palette, which is a a newer neutral release from ColourPop. So I will be comparing this palette to both of those two. So, so we do have some fun things to go over today. Why don't we go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so I was pretty excited when I saw this palette release. The mini nude palette from Natasha Denona is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes probably my most used eyeshadow palette at this point. Um, when I was actually doing swatches for it to compare the swatches, there's one shadow that I, I couldn't even swatch with my finger because there's such a dip in it that I had to get a brush and do a brush swatch instead because I simply could not get my finger into the pan because I have used so much of that shadow. So when I saw this one come out, I almost threw it. That would have been terrifying. When I saw this one come out, I like I immediately bought it. I don't buy things super quickly like I did with this palette. A lot of times I wait and I think about it and I mm, and I mm, and I mm. I didn't even, like, I don't even have this one in my Will I Buy It yet. I do a new makeup releases video every single Wednesday. This didn't even make it in my video yet because um, it came out so quickly and I just bought it. It was like, yep. But knowing how much I love my mini nude and then seeing this one and thinking it will be a great um, compatible palette with the mini nude and then also that... I'm probably going to love all five of these shades. It's $25, which $25 for five shades can be a little bit more pricey. I do understand that. It definitely is a very small palette, um, but those are reasons that I like it. Myself personally, I do have a pretty large collection, especially being a YouTuber and trying to show and review palettes so often. I, I definitely have a lot going on. So for me, I'm someone who I like minis, uh, whether it be makeup, whether it be skincare, whether it be hair care products, I like minis because I feel like I can potentially use something up versus paying more money for more product but never getting through it. I don't see value in that. We might be different there because everyone is different with our preferences, but that's where I find the value. So you just have to figure out what is it that would have the most value to you personally. And for me, it is these mini palettes. So when I saw the mini glam, I immediately knew that this one would be for me. Again, I didn't mind the $25 and it also helped that I had a $25 uh, rouge reward from Sephora. So like kind of basically they just gave this to me is what I like to think of it, you know. Not that I spend a bunch of money in order to get that rouge reward. Let's not think of it. But I decided to go ahead and pick it up. So again, this one is $25. You have the five different shades. It's available at Sephora. That's where I purchased mine. So it says a palette of matte metallic and sparkly cool toned golden taupe and neutral shades for the ultimate glam look or the perfect everyday look. This uh, this palette is free of parabens and it is also cruelty free. And then inside the different shadows, we have Golden Flesh, which is a metallic gold, Harlow, which is a matte nude, Anjo, which is a metallic bronze, Seed is a matte brown, and then Faye is a metallic gold. So once again, looking at this, I, I'm a neutral fan. I'm kind of that, my everyday look is something neutral, is something quick and easy to do. So when I look at this, I think once again that I can do an everyday look with this or I can use some of these shimmers and some of these metallics and kind of build it up a little bit and, and you know create a different style of look there. But I see myself using this one in my travel makeup bag, in my on the go makeup bag. I see myself getting just as much use out of this palette as I do the mini nude. Uh, so like I said, I did do this eye look to Today using this palette so I'll insert that demo here so you can see how I I got the look and I did use all five shadows first I came in with Harlow which is the matte nude I just used a big blending brush to apply this into my crease just kind of all over the eye a little bit above the crease and then I came in with the darker matte which is a seed I used a smaller blending brush to apply this to the outer corner of my eye and kind of blend it a little bit into the crease the first shimmer that I used is the first one in the palette and I tapped that into the center of my lid and then I also followed up with 
with the last shimmer in the palette what I, it swatches a little bit more on the pinky side actually but it's a really beautiful shade i applied this one to the inner corner of my eye and just kind of tapped those two shimmers together then used my smaller blending brush to just blend everything together make sure there was no harsh edges and then uh, that was it for the um for my eye look i thought it was really easy to achieve the shimmers that i used in here did not need a damp brush the the brush that you see me using to apply the shimmers is a dry brush this is another reason why i really like these palettes and why i really like them for kind of like my on the go palettes too because I don't need to worry about having a setting spray. You're still gonna get a really beautiful shimmer. You're still gonna get an oomph in there. There's not a ton of fallout. I will say that the last shade is more of that metallic color and it has a little bit more kick up uh, than it does the other two shimmers in here. So I can get a little bit of fallout on the, on the face, but not anything extreme, not anything that's going to ruin a makeup look, but I wanted to point that out uh, about that shadow. And then on the lower lash line, I just did the center shades. I first took Seed the uh, darker matte brown and applied it to the lower lash line. Then I added a little bit of the darker shimmer, and then I blended it all out with the matte nude. And then for the inner corner, I once again, it came in with the lash shadow and I used that for inner corner and also brow bone highlights. So really simple and easy to achieve this look. I used all five shadows and I really enjoy all five shadows. Um, like I mentioned, I do like the shimmers. Don't think that you need a dry brush with them. I would just be careful with the last one. It can uh, kick up a little bit more in the pan. You can get a little bit of fallout. And then both of the matte shadows I thought were super easy to blend. This color right here is, <laughs> is such a color that I love. And a lot of times if I just want something super simple and I use the term on the go makeup because I live in a smaller town, so sometimes when I go into the next bigger city to go shopping, to go to Sephora, to go to Target, um, to see my friends, a lot of times I'll just grab a smaller makeup bag and I'll get ready in my car, like once I get to my destination, like the other day, I did my makeup outside a restaurant parking lot, or in the restaurant parking lot, before I went in for my friend's birthday brunch. So a lot of times I do that and I'm doing just really fast and easy, simple looks. A lot of times I'm only using one shadow, maybe two. Too. So I can see myself using this one quite a bit for that reason and then maybe you know like this shimmer for the inner corner or a, a little bit on the inner part of my eye and mascara and calling it a day. I've been doing that a ton so it's another reason why I thought this would be a great one. Um, not only because I could grab these two and they're going to take up such a small amount of space in my on the go makeup bag but because I'm going to use a lot of these shadows. So uh, again I thought the mattes were super easy to blend even the darker matte thought it was really easy to work with so i like the quality in both of these mini palettes from natasha denona it's another reason i don't mind spending the 25 dollars on such a small palette because i know that i'm going to get a lot of use out of them so first thoughts again i've only swatched the palette and used it one time so i you know of course i want to make sure that i say that but i feel like it's the same as the mini nude and i feel like i'm going to continue to be really happy with this one and having it be you know kind of a staple in my collection so so far so good i'm pretty happy with this purchase uh so that is my thoughts the swatches and the demo with the mini glam and let me go ahead and compare it to the mini nude and then also the ColourPop going coconuts so this one here is the mini nude from natasha denona again this one is 25 dollars for the five shades a same size palette if you can see that this palette is extremely dirty. I am someone who's very light handed. A lot of times, like it takes a lot for my makeup to look really loved and really used. And this palette sure does. The second shade here, which is the lighter matte brown, has such a dip in it. So again, I wanted to point out when you see the swatches, everything else is used with my finger, but I had to use a brush with this one because especially with having longer nails, I can't, I can't fit my finger in when I do this. I'm not actually touching anything because there's such a dip in there. So just wanted to point that out. But I think that these are similar. I don't think that they're exact dupes to, to one another, which I wouldn't have expected them to be. But I think it is helpful to see the comparisons, see them side by side, see the swatches side by side, because maybe you don't have either of these, but you really only want one, but one would call to you more than the other. Maybe you have the mini nude, but you're trying to decide would the mini glam be worth it. Honestly, if you like these kind of colors, I like I could see it being worth it to you, but again, it's going to be personal preference. It's going to be based on your makeup collection and all of that, but um again, I like these palettes 
together and I think that they would be great to use separately also so I'm really happy with them. There is no exact color dupes in here. The one that I was most curious about was the two matte browns but hopefully you can see in the swatches and even just by looking at them in the pan that they are different and the mini nude has almost just like a hint of of red to it almost like like a hint of like auburn to the shade but those were really the only two when I looked at this that I was like maybe those are similar to one another but I I I don't think so I think that they are different shades and in both of these palettes you have two mattes and then the uh, three shimmers in here this one in the mini nude is more of the metallic the one that has a little bit more fallout like I mentioned the last shadow does in the mini glam uh, but again I don't think that they're super similar to one another I think that you could still be happy with both if you like this color scheme and I'm really happy to have them both as well and maybe I can give this poor shadow a little bit of a break because again when I do the on the go makeup look a lot of times I'm just using that shade in my crease and then also on the lower lash line and then I'll go ahead and with like this shimmer that's what I'll put in the inner corner in the inner part of my eye mascara and I'm done so like I said a lot of people uh, asked if I would compare it to the going coconuts from Colourpop so this is a bit of a newer release from Colourpop this is a nine pan palette and this one is $12 so obviously there is a significant price difference there's a quantity difference with this one the Colourpop palette does also include a mirror which I do like the Natasha palettes are obviously smaller in size um, a little bit easier I mean it's like a pocket palette <laughs> type of thing you could throw it in your purse I mean you could even throw it in your clutch if you want it to but the Colourpop does obviously offer benefits too of having a few more shadows in here and then also having that mirror it's a bit of the differences between the two palettes I actually really do like the Colourpop go with coconuts palette I have used this one quite a bit Again, I am a neutral fan, I like really quick and easy type of looks. I tend to gravitate towards them a lot. I like the ColourPop eyeshadow formula a whole bunch. I have a lot of palettes from them. I've purchased a lot of palettes from them. Uh, this one was sent to me in PR from ColourPop, but I really enjoy it. I, I do highly recommend it. And again, for the $12, I think that that's fantastic. I will say when I got the first comment of could I compare these two, I was like, oh yeah, I think that these are actually going to be really similar to one another. Once I got this palette in the mail and opened up both palettes and then swatched them both, they're not quite as similar as I thought, but there are some shades that I that I do think are very similar to one another. So in the ColourPop Going Coconuts palette, I swatched five that I thought would be the closest in the Mini Glam palette. So first I swatched Get Kraken, then I swatched uh, Lovely Bunch, then Da Coco, then I did Nutty, the dark brown, and then Coco Crush. So with these two palettes, the two shades that I thought were most similar to one another is the Middle Shimmer in the Natasha palette, and then Da Coco from ColourPop, and then also the Last Shimmer here, and then Coco Crush. Those are really the only two that I thought were really similar to one another. The first shimmer in the Natasha palette, I didn't really feel like there was much of a contender in the ColourPop, but I went ahead and swatched, um, what was it, Get Kraken. Didn't really seem similar. Even the, both the lighter and the darker, I didn't think there was um, an exact dupe in here. So it was just those two shimmers from the palette that I thought were similar. Maybe those are the two that you are most interested in and it would make more sense for you to do the ColourPop and get more shadows. Maybe it would make more sense for you to do the Natasha and have a smaller palette. I mean, again, it's going to be up to, to you and your preferences, but I actually thought the ColourPop Going Coconuts was going to be much more dupable than it actually ended up being again similar tones you know similar color scheme and all of that really was only those two shadows that i thought were you know incredibly similar to one another but again you have a quantity difference you definitely have the price difference with that one but i hope showing uh these two next to each other and showing these swatches gave you an idea of if you would need one or the other or if you already have one would you need the other one, uh, I do hope that that helped you out. But other than that, um, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Again, kind of an impromptu one for today, but I knew that I wanted to get my hands on this palette. I think that this was a, a good purchase
purchase for me. It's a palette that I'm going to use a lot and it's one that I'm really, really excited for. So I was excited to share this with you, show you the eye look that I did and then also do the comparisons with the other two palettes. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below. Are you interested in this palette? Um, are you not really feeling it? Is it not really your style? That's totally okay if so. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of the comments letting me know this palette was coming out and also requesting the comparisons. That really does help me out so much. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video. Bye.